All right, last one from Bacillus. It's this other great brand. I've never heard of them. Lianchi. Probably not saying that right. It's a KF94 style with a KN. Oh, well, actually, this is the FFP2 standard. And you'll notice, again, if something has a standard, it's going to say it right on the mask. By the way, I don't know how they do this ink. We looked at every ink that's available to try to print on black spun bond and couldn't figure it out. So this is amazing. It's great registration. It's good ink. Um, EN uh, you know, uh, 149 FFP2. So that's basically the European N95. We'll let her rip. This is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. We are doing the N95 test here, the same test, using the same model of machine that the CDC uses to test all of their masks. Try this on. It's very rigid. The spun bond is not soft, which I don't like. Dude, the, their nose wire is insane. Really great seal, very light. I don't, it's rough, it's rougher than I want. The smell is, I'm gonna call this uh, high-end Vegas hotel. I feel like they're pumping some smell in here. And I don't know if I like it because it makes me want to spend more money. I don't know. Uh, let's try out the ear loops. Oh yeah, those aren't as great as the other one that they had. But again, it's like very rough. This is their FFP2, but does any of that matter? If it doesn't protect you? Let's see what the scores are. 99.98, 161.1 pascals. 99.98, 161 pascals. I'm not surprised. These guys seem very professional. Um, and uh, honestly, never heard of this brand before, but I could tell right when I looked at the way it's printing that uh, I think I wanted to trust them. So this might be, except for the fact that I, I have a hard time saying the name, um, this might be a second recommendation for Powcom. Like if you're looking for a good, I don't know what the cost is, but if you're looking for a good Chinese KN95, KF94 style, uh, these guys are really 